After understanding the concept of optimization, we can now understand the very first approach of optimization and that is by using the calculus. So calculus approach is to be used. We know that in the calculus we have derivatives and we will be using two of the derivatives in this case that is this one and the second one. These are the two derivatives that we will be using. The first condition is based on the first order derivative so it is called as the first order test or first order condition and definitely we will use the first order derivative in this process. We should start with the given function uh, and then we can take its derivative and develop the conditions or the tests. Primarily we should assume that this is a continuous function because differentiation is possible only if the function is a continuous function. And then we can find its extremum or extrema that is the maximum or minimum points that we can get and now we are going to understand about the critical value. Critical value as the name goes is something which is important and why? Because it is the value of the independent variable that will optimize the uh, value of dependent variable. So it is that critical value. In this case x will be having a certain value at which y will be optimized. Uh, for example, if that is x asterisk, it means that x asterisk will lead to y optimized. So this will be known as the critical value and this would be definitely optimized value. So setting our vocabulary correct, we can go ahead. This is a graph that we have plotted. If this is the graph which is having two wiggles, again it seems like it is a cubic function, at least from the visible range. So after plotting this, uh, we can guess that uh, the derivative will be zero at the minimum as well as at maximum because if I place a ball here, it is not going to move. So the slope is zero at this point. And if I place a ball here, it is again going to be stable. It means that it's not going to move and the slope will be equal to zero. In other words, the derivative will be equal to zero which can be written like this or like that. So it means that if I am at a maximum or a minimum a, I will be having the slope equal to zero. So this gives us the first condition that e either if it is a maximum or a minimum the slope will be zero. So slope is equal to derivative of in this notation and in that notation will be equal to zero. Now the first order condition is to be analyzed um, here. We have developed it and now we are going to uh, give it a certain name that is necessary condition for optimization because we have to be either at this point or at that point. Without being at, at either of these points we cannot be in an optimization situation because either it will be a maximum or a minimum it cannot be here or not there anywhere else because these are not the uh, you know maximum or the minimum points so one thing is settled the necessary condition we some something that we necessarily need is achieved now this uh, panel diagram is going to help us a little bit about uh, how this thing is happening if you take the chunk or the portion of the minimum that is this portion it will be like this you can see that there is a minimum over here and if you take the chunk of maximum it will be here somewhere so uh, let's try to understand this thing that uh, the slope is varying because before this point the slope was negative and then it became zero and then it became positive so slope on the whole is increasing which is basically the process that is explained by the second order derivative because the second order derivative tells us about the rate of change of slope. So the slope is becoming positive or increasing. So the second order derivative should be positive here at a minimum. 
Now, if I consider the other side, that is the uh, maximum situation. In this, the slope before this uh, maximum point, it is positive, and then it became zero, and now it is going to turn negative, as you can see. The slope is negative. So you see, the slope is on the whole declining. In other word, the, uh, in other words, the second order derivative is less than zero which means that so we have uh, developed the first order uh, condition as well as the second order condition uh, for understanding that if we are at a maximum or a minimum and you can see that this second order condition that we have developed has helped us to to be sure if we are at a minimum or at a maximum because the first order derivative can only tell us that the slope is zero and either we are at a minimum or at a maximum but we do not exactly know that if it is a minimum or a maximum and if we are looking for a maximum and if we are misled to a minimum this can be a very um, drastic situation and we can maximize some unfavorable variable or we can minimize a favorable variable which is definitely the opposite of the rationality or whatever um, a very uh, basic uh, understanding of a human being requires that one wants to maximize the benefits or the favorable variable and uh, minimize the costs or the unfavorable unfavor variable um, now and there's another situation that can exist if this is the kind of graph that we are dealing with that the slope is positive before and slope becomes zero and then it becomes uh, pos positive again um, so it means that the slope is not switching the process of switching is something we need that is it changes sign from one point to another however in this case we have um, a, a negative slope in the beginning and then it remains negative and then it is zero so in this way we can understand that we don't have a maximum nor a minimum because uh, this is not e neither a highest point nor the lowest point it is still one of the points that we are dealing with here the value is declining further and here the value is increasing further so after understanding this we can summarize uh, and we can make sense from this table uh, critical value is something we have already understood but is a critical value of a certain function f which is to be optimized and what we have observed is that fx left of c and f of x right of c and fc it means that we are assuming three points or three uh, locations one is the function at the critical value other is the function before or at the on the left of the critical value and function at the right of the critical value so if there is a minimum on the left it will be decreasing and on the right it will be increasing as you can see decreasing and then increasing and if it is a maximum on the left it is increasing positive and then it is negative or decreasing if it is not an extremum then it can be increasing before and in even afterwards and if it is um, an, an ex not an extremum it can be decreasing uh, in in both of the cases that is before and after the critical value so this means that we have summarized the situation of the slopes before and afterwards the critical value now we should be uh, able to solve this uh, uh, function by using this first order and second order conditions so the critical points are these we are going to find out the critical points for this function uh, we can calculate the first derivative which is an easy thing for t you, uh, us to do and once if we have this we are going to put it equal to zero because this is the first order condition
and in the first order condition we put the first order derivative equal to 0 and this is what we have done because the slope is 0 at the optimum point either if it is a maximum or a minimum so we can solve it by using the derivative uh, the quadratic formula it's very easy to do this quadratic equation is solved and we found the two values that is minus 2 and 1 then we can now um, try to find out the value um, which is um, at the um, critical values so that value is of y and uh, let us see that what will be the answer of it the function is this so wherever there is x we are going to put the values that is minus 2 and then we will get one value of y which is 24 so we can save it uh, just to be able to compare it because we have used one value of x now the other value of x is also to be used and let's see that what value does it give us this is the given function once we substitute the critical value in it we will get some answer and that answer is minus 3 so at x is equal to 1 the optimum value of y will be minus 3 so now we can plot this graph and you can see that um, this is the value of x and it is minus 2 here and this is the value of uh, x again but it is in this case 1 and um, this is 1 and this is 2 so here the value is as we have already calculated up there 24 so for x minus 2 the value of y is 24 and for value of x 1 the value is minus 3 so x and y they are now clearly mentioned here so this is one of the ways in which we can make sense of the given function we were given a cubic function and we have plotted it and we have figured out the maximum and the minimum points in it this is the maximum and this is the minimum their coordinates specifically speaking would be minus 2 and 24 and here the coordinates would be 1 and minus 3 so 24 definitely is a maximum and minus 3 is definitely a minimum value of the dependent variable that is y so in this way the optimization can be mathematically performed and we can also um, make sense of it by using the second order condition which was summarized here and we can also resort to the first order condition which will tell us that the slope at any optimum point is zero and this was actually the uh, calculus approach of uh, using the first or, um, of doing the optimization the second order condition I have explained it here a little bit but um, there can be further de dis description of it but at this time we haven't uh, delved deeper into it but in the next or upcoming videos we will do it thank you